I'm Grace. And I'm Emma. And this, this is your Eagles TV. everyone, we're back with Eagles TV, back and better than ever. Hope everyone has been enjoying these snow days. Sadly, we have to come to school on February 19th to make it up. Progress reports will be sent home with you on February 7th. Hey Emma, are you going to be attending the beauty walk? Actually, I'm going to be in it. Ooh, me too. It's going to be fun. Make sure you're there supporting the girls on February 15th at 6 o'clock at the Bama Theater. But remember, all girls in it have to be there at 5. Good luck. The Spring Book Fair will be on the week of February 5th through 9th. Speaking of books, we have a field trip to go see the movie, A Wrinkle in Time. In order to see it, you need to pass the ARI quiz on the book by March 9th. And the field trip will be on March 22nd. Now to Kaysen for more. Thanks, Grace. As you may or may not have known, there is a book called A Wrinkle in Time. I have interviewed an 8th grader, Maya Pasture, and asked her a few questions about how she liked the book. On to her interview. This book. I saw the movie trailer and I thought it looked very interesting, so I decided I wanted to read the book. My favorite character is Meg because she was very confident and determined to find her father. I thought the book would be about time travel because a wrinkle in time, time travel, so I thought it was going to be about time travel. Thanks, Maya. Those were great answers. I'm Kaysen reporting for your Eagles TV. As you may know, we had tryouts for the archery team. Congrats to those who made it. The first game will be on Thursday, February 22nd. And now to Jackson for more. Thanks, Emma. As you may or may not have known, there is a new sport at Duncanville, archery. I'm Jackson with the story we have for you on archery. Let's hear what the coach, Mr. Chapman, has to say about it. I can remember shooting bows back uh, in summer camp. Um, back probably middle school or a little bit younger uh, when I went to summer camps in the summer. Um, I'm not sure if you kids do that anymore, but uh, we used to go to summer camps, have all kind of fun, swimming, archery, uh, shooting. Well, the opportunity came uh, last year to where they were going to have an archery team here, and I was, uh, when I found out, I was real excited. I've been coaching baseball, uh, and I really thought it would be a great opportunity to start an archery team here. My intentions for the archery team this year is to have a group of students who want to build a foundation for the future <coughs> archery teams. Um, this year's students, they're great, they're motivated, they want to learn, they, they want to shoot, they want to improve after each shot. And I think with the, with the foundation that they will develop, the future teams will learn from them and they can be leaders and pass on their legacy, their leadership legacy to the next group of incoming archers next year and then the year after that. Thanks Mr. Chapman for letting us interview you for archery. I started shooting a bow about six years ago. My mom and dad inspired me to do archery because I've never done a sport in my school. When we first started archery, we didn't shoot the target as much, but we're shooting a lot more, so it's pretty fun. Thanks, Ryder, for telling us about your experience in archery. I started shooting a bow around eight years old because I just liked the idea of shooting something. The person who taught me to shoot a bow is my dad because we've always went bow hunting since I was like six or seven. He shot a giant buck in front of me and I've always wanted to shoot a bow ever since that. It's been pretty good. We've always he's been shooting and I've always almost hit the target every time. And almost everybody's been pretty good with hitting the target.
Thanks, Hunter, for telling us about your experience in archery. As an archery team member, I can tell you how archery has been going for me so far. And it's good, by the way. Thanks for asking. Also, the person who taught me how to shoot a bow was my grandpa. And the person who inspired me to do archery was also my grandfather. He's been a major influence in my life. I'm Jackson, reporting for your Eagles TV. They're looking great, don't you think? Yeah, they really are. And also, be on the lookout for our new tags on our Instagram, at Duncanville underscore middle. And that's it for today. I'm Grace. And I'm Emma. And that was your Eagles TV. Sorry, did you hear my, 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 <laughs> it's a gum. Okay, let's try this again.